Between 2017 and 2019, Feminet, in partnership with Hivos under the Women at Work campaign, embarked on a journey to transform the lives of women working in the horticultural sector in Kenya. Most of the African countries, agriculture is actually the backbone of the economies. Horticultural sector, the flowers, the vegetables, the fruits that we export. And so we did a baseline in a couple of farms and we just wanted to know who are these people who grow these beautiful flowers. Because whenever you see a rose flower, it's beauty. You know, it symbolizes life and beauty. But is that the same thing for the people who grow them? My name is Veronica Maniki. I work for Tropiflora Company. It's a flower farm. I manage a farm of uh, 21 hectares with a workforce of more than 300 workers. I have done this job more than 20 years now. Since high school, I had a passion of flowers. I ventured to go into the floriculture industry, and I like it. Despite uh, being a flower farmer and I like my job, there are challenges, especially as a woman. Uh, sometimes men will look down on you, and uh, when you make a decision that will affect a man, and a man will feel like, this is a bit too much from a woman. My hope is that I empower many women because I started from far also. I want women to feel that they can be leaders and they can do it better than the men. My name is Anjos Pinwanjanjoka. I'm a general worker in Tropiflora Flower Farm. I've worked here for 18 years now. I'm a single mother of two kids. As a worker for now, there is no more challenges like there before. When we had no union, no health and safety, there was no fair trade, there was no fair act, which is about breastfeeding, maternity leave. If you get a child, within two months you are back to the job. And those two months you, you are not in be paid. But for now, even though you get a child, if you are seasonal, in that contract of six months, the remaining months before your contract is expired, you have to be paid. Iyo ingine, mfanyikasi laiki, amekuja ametongoswa ni mukubwa, aki mukata anafuto. Lakini saai, tumekuja tukapata seria act ya sexual harassment tukona iyo policy, yenye tulikuja tukafunswa na human rights watch. Valentine siku ya wapenda nao, lakini sasa ikona maana sana kwangu sababu customers watanunua maua wapelekewa wapensi wao wapelekewa watoto wao wasasi wao kampuni itapata pesa na inilipe data from Kenya's horticultural crop directorate depicts a steady growth in the horticultural sector with overall sales rising to over 3 billion dollars in 2017 up from 2 billion dollars recorded in 2016 Femnet has been intentional in supporting pilot farms to adapt gender-responsive workplace policies and practices that ensure women take up leadership positions at the farm level. My name is uh, Harold Koeji. I'm the Human Resource Officer, KHE, on Tilili River Farm. We have 110 permanent employees, of which 70 of them are women, 40 are male. The farm has been promoting and it will continue to promote women in leadership by ensuring that we are partnering with like-minded uh, partners. We have more than two different partners partnering with us on issues with women empowerment. Our gender policy basically is about giving the workers equal chance to contribute at all levels. Femnet has been conducting regular farm-level gender awareness sensitizations through its flagship, Stawisha, which means thriving in Swahili, a custom-made training for sharpening leadership skills and unleashing the full potential of women leaders. My name is Mary Njeri Mwangi. I work at KHE on Tilili Farm. I do procurement. Women working here, wanakwangana so many issues, even the working hours. I would wish kama working hours zina is a change because they have another life at home. Na wana hitajika nyumbani pia. Stawisha imenisaidia sana as a woman. On emotional intelligence, nimejua kudeal na workers na employees. Kitambo nilikuwa nakasirika sana. Saizi, ninajuanga how to deal with employees vizuri. We relate well 
I would like to tell women in the farm that what men can do, women can do better. The reason why we intervene in the horticulture sector is because it has a bigger population of women, but it's also a sector that is uh, high by intensive and also in terms of being a key foreign exchange. And so we believe even as a supplement in terms of foreign exchange, I know they also need to benefit from the businesses that they support through better wages, through dignified work and through safe work conditions.